What's up guys, uh, what's, welcome to this video. In this video I'm gonna teach you guys how I was able to play this game on a controller. Uh, as you can see here, pretty much every, uh, pretty much all the uh, all the buttons are assigned to this controller. And then can play entirely without touching, uh, without touching the computer. For this version, this is the very early version of Ninokuni, which is 1.01.004, which is they consider as beta. So anyway, <laughs> for so what you need, all you need right now for this to work is Anti Micro X, which is the, this little uh, open source program uh, that is available on GitHub. Uh, all the links are gonna be available on the description as well as the the preset file that I set myself this tutorial the long download link gonna be uh, is pretty much the first one since the game is only available for windows uh and assuming that everyone is looking for this tutorial is using windows um yeah you're gonna download the the amd64.exe then you're gonna install it just like that you're gonna click on the, uh, the, the executable exe link and execute install it just like that next agree whatever nobody reads the agreement license agreement uh, C program folder, folders, whatever, uh, next, and click install. Since I have this program already installed on my computer, I don't, I don't need to install it again, of course. When you first use the program, open the program for the first time, you're gonna see an entire blank screen. But I, I advise you to not run this program without running as an administrator, because if you run this program without uh, administrator properties, it, it won't work. Doesn't matter what you do. You have to run this program as an administrator for this tutorial to work with. So if somewhat you find yourself not understanding why this is not working, it's probably because you run it normally, just clicking normally, like just like that. But you can set to this, this for example, this shortcut to always run as an administrator, going to the right clicking on the over the shortcut properties. And then you go to the general, I mean, no, compatibility, and then go to run this program as an administrator and go to click OK. There we go. Whenever you run this program again, it's gonna ask you if you want to run this as an administrator. Yeah, just like that. Just double click it, yes, and there we go. So for this tutorial, as I create a new, uh, completely new, and this is probably what you are gonna see it uh, on for the first time. Check if the, your control is connected on your computer. Assuming that your control works and does connect, I assume this program does work with uh, any other controller available. I think the program, the controller that I'm using right now is the Xbox Series controller. Seeing that your controller is detected and you can see that all the buttons being pressed whenever you press any button on your, com your, on your controller, you're gonna be assigned the, what you think is the best. When you press F1 in the game, you're gonna see all the buttons available for you to assign for your controller. <laughs> anyway, give a screenshot of your, your main screen so you can, don't get lost while setting everything up. So you're gonna be constantly, like I recommend you also giving having the game running. So you get to test, always testing to see if it's working the way you want to. So for the left stick, you're gonna go with WASD, which is what the program understand. For the left stick, in order to program for the game to understand that you're clicking and dragging the mouse, you're gonna make it go into the program to manipulate this action uh, on, the, on the program. So for this to help work, for how, and how I make this work, is going to like clicking on the, one of the buttons, like up. So I'm gonna mouse up, left button, and go to advanced. Advanced button gonna go to a more like, anyway, advanced. So as you left click is pressing, you're gonna click over this button and press the up button on your keyboard. So just like that, the program is gonna understand that you're clicking and moving up, the mouse up. You can close it, close it, and repeat the process with direction that you wanted to go, use it, so. There you go. As you can see, mouse left button, mouse LB left, mouse LB up, mouse LB right, uh, mouse LB down, and whatever. So as you can see here, uh, I'm finally able to move the game just like that. Because the game thinks that I'm, of course, clicking and dragging. And it works pretty well, just like any other game. Oh yeah, there's the S button. There we go. 
So the D-pad, the D-pad is very personal, just like on the other button here. It is the, the rest is very personal, except for the left and right trigger, I think. The rest is pretty much personal and what you think is the best. So for this video, I'd be like going around with what I think makes sense to, for me. So for the D-button, I'm gonna be the moving the mouse, which is, of course, the left. Since this game doesn't have an uh, option to, um, to like select items with uh, the pad, you're gonna sometimes it's gonna be like moving the mouse up and down, or clicking or accessing certain actions of the game. So pretty much it. Let's test it. As you can see, I'm controlling. I'm lifting my my hand off my mouse, and I'm able to control the the mouse in the game with my D pad, which is great. So. Uh, with a left trigger and right trigger, this I will be left leaving for later. With the A button X and B, the main abilities here. For some reason, the game understands A as a jump for anyway. I don't know why, but the game already understands that this is a jump. Even though the game doesn't have a support for controller, but they already understand that this is a jump. So I only have X, Y, and B, and I don't have the option to change the A button, A behavior in the game so we we can go with that so the x we since we only have x b and y for this so the x is gonna be one uh, to, for me uh, it makes sense for me to be the v button because the v button is the, the attack button the q u and r q e and r are the all the, the abilities of the character so v gonna be my to me gonna be the x and The only ability left is R. They are gonna be the right shoulder to me, because it just makes sense. So just go here, press R, and there we go. So now I can go move around with my character, move the camera, move the mouse, and I can just use the abilities, just like that. And keep attacking. So, okay, let's leave it here. So anyway, uh, for the rest of abilities, the all the rest of the buttons, we have the, the start button, which is the F10, as you can see here, is the pause button, kind of pause button. So I'm gonna here, go here and press F10. But for this one, it's a very tricky one because whenever you press F10, you can press F10 again to go back. So if you wanna like just press start and press start again to go back to your game, to remove this, this setting here, we're gonna make sure that when you press this button, we're gonna also simulate a click. Okay, let's go to left click and then you go to the F10. So yeah, basically you go to advance, mouse click, F10 and close. There we go. Now you can, whenever you press F10, you're gonna go show the settings. When you press F10 again, you're gonna you start again. You're gonna close the this menu, menus there. For the, the rest, what is left here is the raw button on the left trigger. As you can see here, left trigger is empty. And then we have left to the L, L shoulder and the back button, just sign. Uh, since this game doesn't have support for share button, because this is a new button that Microsoft uh, put in this controller, you only have the back button and the left shoulder and the triggers. So for the left shoulders, uh, starting with the left shoulders, gonna be, to me, it makes sense for the raw. As you can see here, the raw is shift, the left shift. So you can press the shift here, close, and whenever you press the left button, there you go. So we're gonna be introducing, I'm gonna introduce you to the sets feature in this program. The sets feature in this program allows you to change the uh, this button configuration uh, for every new set that you assign to. But for this one, I'm gonna be just for the Nino Kuni because the preset file, uh, we're gonna tie the preset file to Nino Kuni itself. You can create presets for every single game or you can create sets for specific games anyway. The set's gonna be important here because since there's no more, more other buttons to assign to here, you still have like the Ctrl 1, Ctrl 2 and Ctrl 3, uh, Alt 1 and 2, Alt 3, the M, the M button and the Z. Z is not really important so I don't think this is something that you should worry about because it's just a camera movement. So yeah, for the trigger, this is gonna be a tricky one because when you when you're press the trigger, they're gonna temporarily change the sets to another one in order to make some comments and when you release the button, they're gonna go back to the first set. So let's clicking when you click the left trigger, as you can see here, this is my left trigger. 
no key we're clicking on this button here no key and then uh we go click control and go to advanced so for this one it's going to be the control on this uh, advanced uh, tab we're going to go to set selector set selector is where the things happen because whenever you press the left button they're going to change to select two while held so while you're holding the button until you release it they're going to be set to the set two they're going to be on the set two when it release they're going to go back to the set one so this is what makes uh, this program really special and that's all you want to do here just just do the same for the, the the right trigger so no key press alt advanced set selector and select set two while held close close and close there we go as you can see here i'm on set one when i press the trigger it goes to set two right trigger they go to set two when i release they go back so in the set two we're gonna go to the uh when, well, as you can see here there is no key bind to any other settings here while we are pressing this button any other button that we assign to you in the first set won't be available on the other set unless we assign to you but for this one to myself personally this is going to be the one the x is going to be one b is going to be two and y is going to be three since a is already a jump button for the game we can assign the a button for, for it because it's probably going to be weird or looks off there we go when they're gonna press the left trigger they're gonna go to the set one you went to the set two and when you press any other other buttons you can see that you can executing the, the same command just like that and you go back you can see the other abilities are available as well but this is not only that because while we are holding this this button the program you have to set which button is being pressed while on this uh, second set so I'm gonna make sure that the control is selected. As you can see here, there was no set. Then the right trigger, out, out button. Okay, close, there we go. Now we're gonna make the game understand that we are pressing control and we are pressing one. We are pressing control and pressing three or out and pressing two or three, whatever. There we go. So to me, since I, I'm still older in the game and I wanna make this video because I found I think this might be worth for anyone that wants to play this game on a controller to improve the experience playing on a PC. Uh, as you can see here, I only have the Control 1 abil 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 ability available to me. So anyway, just let's go to another mob here. Like, let's simulate here a little battle here while we are here. So we, I wanted to like randomly use the ability here, just click and one. Okay, the, the game executed the, the ability but yeah the game understand here as you can see can't use this skill yet because it, it is on a cooldown so yeah there we go <laughs> there we go uh we're gonna use our pet here to use an ability which is this one just like that and i can continue using the ability uh during the fight which is pretty cool very nice very nice and this is pretty much it as you can see uh, there's an alt button but i don't have any other any ability with alt here available so i can show you and um, right now but uh there's also the one two three i don't know how important they are in the game but that's it for the vi this video i think uh i covered most of the, the settings that i said for this game um this game pretty cool but unfortunately this game doesn't have the control support for computer especially which I think was comp something that they might want to add in the future, I hope. And also improve the controllers for computer for PC version, because this is just a port version of the mobile game on PC. But anyway, it is totally possible to play this game uh, in this way. Uh, it is very usable, I think, I believe. I, I believe it's pretty much usable. I hope they tweak this in the future and whatsoever. Thanks so much for watching this video and I hope uh, yeah, this video helped you some way and see you later. Also, don't forget to save the, the file. It's, it is really important. Save the file. There we go. This program crashes and when it crashes, you lose everything. You don't want that. You might not want that. <laughs>